diesel engines so they don't go choo-choo. UP trains are yellow and DMEs are blue. Dustin Fensco Railroad, where the railroad comes to you. So hey everybody, welcome to the layout room. I'll show you a little bit of what, what I'm working on today. I got a bunch of these shells that I've got to work with. Now as you can see, these are uh, I'm still working on painting these as DMNE dash nine shells. That's what I'm trying to have. I know DMNE didn't have dash nines, but the problem is I've got all these as I'm repainting them, and I'm I'm doing all these custom paint jobs on the shells, and I bought them already done, but the the stickers and the decals were ripping off so bad that I decided to go with the paint route, and I've got a new set of decals. But you'll notice, uh, maybe here, that these are UP gray trucks. Well, DMNE doesn't have UP gray trucks. Why do I have them? Because, uh, as you'll find out, I guess I can tell you, uh, I bought these UP-9s, which I have a whole bunch of UP shells now, because there was a, a dealer getting out of uh, model railroad sales, and uh, I got these Dash 9 DCC ready Kados, and I got them for approximately 55 bucks a piece. So all I got to do is put in new drop-in decoders, and they'll be ready to go. But the problem is I don't want gray trucks, and I don't want gray fuel tanks. So what we're going to do is take the fuel tanks off, work on the trucks, and do a little painting. Because I don't want to spend the money on replacing these. 15 bucks a pop, 3 bucks for the fuel tank. Now, the fuel tank's not so bad, but 15 bucks of these, and they work just fine. They just need a different color. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Maybe the wrong way, maybe different than what you would do. Let me know what you do in the comments, but this is what I'm going to try, and hopefully have some luck with it. So, uh, stay tuned. All right, so we just take the Rust-Oleum black primer and paint together, and a few light coats. Well, what is they're going to get? This is where a lazy Susan will come in handy if you have one. Make sure we're still in frame here because it's really hard to see. There we go. And no, I'm not painting it in purple glitter. That's what I use to paint my daughter's, custom paint my daughter's Xbox controller. So there, just going to do four of those and we'll be good. Now that I've got one done, I'm going to go ahead and do the other three. Because I've got a total of four dash nines to do. Quick shake of the can. Because the reason I'm going through it now through the three is now I've gotten the first one done. And it's dry mostly to the touch because it's just a thin coat. And I'm really happy with how it came out. Could have been a little bit better, yeah. But I'm also looking at the fact that this is going to be just a minute piece of detail that you'll see in passing. But unless you're going to go up to it with a microscope or a magnifying glass, it'll be all right. And that's what I'm going for. So we're going to do the other three quick. So there we go. We're going to let them dry, and uh, we'll get things back together. So let's go ahead and move to the wheel sets. All right, everybody, so welcome back. Um, now that I've got the tanks painted, and uh, you can see this one's actually back on, I'm going to go ahead and do the trucks. Now everybody's probably looking at it going, oh, God, don't do that. You're going to wreck uh, this. I tried it on a dummy one that was broken already. And uh, I have gotten good luck with using some micro brushes that way I can, can kind of control the paint flow and I'll go a little bit at a time here and I have two micro brushes one obviously small smaller than the other got a really micro one and then a fine one and then I've got a regular one and then I'm using this uh, dull try to see if I can get in here without wrecking it too much I'm using this folk art home decor chalk paint that I got from Michaels. Sorry, I'll try to keep my hand out of there while I'm doing this, but all I'm doing is shaking it up really good. And to control how much I'm getting, I'm just using what kind of comes out in the uh, lid here. So all I'm going to do is take the micro brush and very carefully go ahead and start dabbing just a little bit and just sweep it across. Again, be very careful with it and 
watch what you're doing and dra keep dragging it across it'll thin out and it won't hurt the details on the on the train on the trucks so you kind of see what I'm doing here go ahead and kind of follow along and uh, I'll keep doing it Alright, so there you have it. We took it from being gray. I gotta do the right way here. Gray, this is all gray, like uh, UP gray. Yeah, you can tear them apart, but if you saw my big sausage fingers, which, well, actually, you can. Um, me tearing things apart gets a little complicated, and then I end up with broken trains. Or if I was careful with these micro brushes, like I have been, um, actually came out with something that looks a little dull, a little weathered, which is fine for me, because that's what I want anyway. And uh, this one's just got to have a decoder, and it's ready to go. So there we go. So I took them from being uh, this with gray to this with black. So I'm pretty happy with it. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, watching along, and have yourself a good one.